If you find that your gears aren't working that well, maybe they shift one way nicely but not the other way, or your shifter feels like it's got lots of friction in there, it's probably time to change your gear cable. So here's how to do it. First thing to do is just click it down into the highest gear so there's no tension on that rear mech. I'm gonna snip the end off the old cable so that's gonna pull through nice and easy without that cap on it. And then undo the pinch bolt on your rear mech. If your gear cable is mounted externally to the bike, normally using clips or zip ties, something like that, it's a really easy job. Just get rid of those clips, zip ties, snip them off, and just pull the whole cable out in one go, and free it from the bike. If, however, your bike, like mine, has got internal routing, it's going to take a little bit more thinking about it. So let's look at that. So I find my gear cable going into the frame at the head tube up here, and it pops out by the bottom bracket. Just pulling gently on either end, you can work out if you've got one piece of outer cable that goes the whole way through the frame. If so, then it's quite an easy job. Basically what you want to do is leave the inner cable in the frame and just pull on the outer cable from the mech end and pull the whole length out, measure up a new outer cable on that and then thread it back through the frame using the old inner cable. And then you just pull the inner cable out once you've got the outer all the way through the bike and replace it. However, pulling on one end by the head tube here and the other end down by my bottom bracket, I can feel that there's movement there. So I haven't got one whole piece of outer the whole way through the bike. So this is how to replace that. Right, so I'm just gonna pull on this rear piece of outer cable and just slide it off the inner. <clears throat> Remembering to leave this inner threaded through the cable. If you pull that out of the frame now, that's going to leave you with a horrible job of trying to feed a cable back through there, and that can take ages. So, a really handy little trick to do is get some of this little tube in and thread this on to the old inner cable and just push it all the way through the bike. That's obviously then going to pop out of this hole down here. And it's going to make it much easier when you stick the new cable in. So I'm just holding on to this inner cable so that, that doesn't push out as well. And I'm just pushing on this cover and there it pops out of the frame, gives that a pull. And I'm now safe to actually now pull on this inner cable to remove that from the bike because this is now my guide. So same now with the main part of the frame. I've just pulled this outer cable out of the head tube so I can just pinch the inner cable between my fingers. So again, when I'm pushing this cover, the inner cable isn't just going to push out of the bike. I'm just pushing this inner cover over. So now I've got this little tube all the way through the bike. So this tube's gone all the way through the frame. I'm pulling on one end, I can feel it pulling the other. So I know I'm safe now to pull the old inner cable the whole way out of the bike. And I can measure up my old outer cables to replace them. So I'm just gonna measure up my old outer cables for the new ones. So just remove your old end caps, place them to the side. Quite often you can actually just reuse these, but just check they're not kinked or anything like that. And that looks absolutely fine, so I'll probably reuse that. And now just put your old cable up against the new one. So butt the ends up there and measure it up. And then using some proper cable cutters, just snip that at the same length. It's definitely worth using proper cable cutters rather than using you know any pliers or cutters they're just not going to be quite as good so you see it's got a really nice clean cut but it's a little bit squashed so i'm just gonna get that outer cable back as as round as i can and then i'm gonna use a really nice small little pokey thing you can use a little allen key for this if you want just to open up that end of it so there's not going to be any friction when i put my new inner cable in there so now just put in the cable lens on the outer and that's my front piece done. I need to do the same for my rear piece or if you just got one the whole way through, just obviously measure up once. So your new outer cable's ready to roll. So now to remove the old inner cable from the shifter. It's different depending on the brand of shifter you have. This SRAM one, the top cap comes off the shifter. Shimano, there's a screwdriver head in there. So this SRAM one, I'm actually just going to remove it from the bike, makes it slightly easier. So I've got a T25, and I'm just going to whiz it off. So just a three mil Allen key to take this top cover off. Because I put it in my highest gear, you'll see that cable end just there. If you can't see it, it might be because it's clicked a bit further around. So just knock it down to your highest gear and then give that cable a bit of a push 
and out it pops. So just slide the old one out and it's just reverse that procedure to put the new one in. So just putting the new one in, just make sure as you're doing this, you're not kinking the cable in any way because that's going to give you friction in the outer cable. So put it all the way in and replace the cover. Shift the back on the bike. So now I'm going to thread my new outer onto the new inner. This is my front piece from the shifter to the head tube. So away I go. Just as you're doing this, just as you're feeding through, just it should feel really nice and free. If there's any sort of friction in there, then just double check your cables, they've not got any kinks. And if they do, then I'd replace them again. But that feels really nice and smooth. There's no friction in there, which means my shifting should be really nice. So there's my front piece. So now I'm going to use this cover that slid all the way through my bike to thread this new inner cable all the way through. Keep pushing and now eventually this should pop out all the way back there by my rear mech. So I can see my new inner cables come all the way through the frame and it's still in this cover but it's out the back of the bike. So now I'm safe to just pull this cover off the inner cable and leave that inner cable hanging out the back of the bike. So now to thread through my rear piece of cable, I'm going to make my life slightly easier and take this end cap off just to make it a slightly smaller diameter so it's going to thread through the frame a little bit easier. So here I go, just holding on to the inner cable and pushing the outer over it. So just holding on to the inner, push, 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 and the outer pops out of the frame. So now I need to actually pull this inner cable out so that I can refit my end cap. Fit the end cap onto that outer and then I'm going to thread this inner all the way back through and there it is popping out the back of the bike. So that's all the threading done. All I'm now going to do is just make sure the cables are butted up nicely into their positions in the frame. So the end caps are sat nicely there, nice and tight. And then I'm ready to start playing around with the actual cable tension to get my gears working properly. So I've threaded the cable back through the rear mech and it's by this pinch bolt. So I'm just going to pull a little bit of tension on there and tighten down this pinch bolt. So I'm just going to snip the new inner cable down nice and short and put a nice end cap on there just to tidy it up. So I'm just going to spin the bike through the gears and get the tension set correctly on the gear cable. So it's a little bit slow going up the block, so I'm going to put a bit more tension on there. I think that's good to go. Check it coming down, nice and smooth. Just bear in mind that the gear cables can stretch a little bit, so you might need to put a bit more tension on there after a couple of rides. So there you go, there's how to change your gear cable. This is probably the hardest way of doing it when you've got internal routing and separate parts. If you've got one piece going the whole way through of outer, then that's a bit easier. If you've got externally mounted gear cables, then that's even easier. And if you're still struggling to set up your gears, you can click up here for our how to index gears video, or for something else, you can click down here for how to pedal like a pro, or click on me and the flashy blue canyon to subscribe to the channel.